Kelly Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I'm uploading a new video, depending on the option you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. Yes, it is that day again. It is Throwback Thursday where I am bringing to you some of my oldie but goodie DIYs. These are hands down my top favorite DIYs that I've ever done. And today's DIY really ranks up there and one of those gifts that I really like to give that I still gift today. It is such a budget friendly DIY and the outcome is so rustic, so farmhouse in Anybody that this is gifted to is guaranteed to love this. So let's not waste any more time. Let's jump into it and let me show you another one of my favorite oldie but goodie DIYs. For this DIY, I'll be using one of these wood fence pickets that you can get from your local hardware store. For the lower grade wood, you're gonna pay $1.87 for one six foot piece. If you want a better grade wood that you don't have to sand, you're gonna pay $2.25. For a six foot piece, you're gonna get four cuts of wood, which means four of these DIYs for $1.87. I'll also be using one of these burlap rolls that I got from Walmart for, I believe, $2.98 a roll. And you're gonna wanna go check out Michael's Dollar Bins and get some of their paper flowers. They've got a great selection of paper flowers. To stain my wood, I'll be using this wood stain by Minwax in the color of Dark Walnut. Out of one six foot fence picket that I paid $1.87 for, I was able to cut four 16 inch pieces, which equals four of this DIY, which is a great buy for $1.87. Once I've got my pieces cut, I'm gonna use some Minwax wood stain. If you wanna paint this, you can paint this. I just really love the look of this dark walnut. It has just this rich, dark, rustic color to it that I love. Then taking this lighter woven burlap, which is really what you wanna use for this DIY, you kinda of wanna stay away from the tighter woven burlap because it's gonna make it a bit harder. I'm gonna cover this piece of wood long ways with it, hot gluing the burlap to the wood. I'm gonna flip the wood over so the glue side is down. I'm gonna take a piece of twine, I'm gonna run it under the burlap and I'm gonna tie it. I'm gonna pull it kinda of tight because we want that gathered look there. I'm gonna take another piece of burlap and this time it's gonna go from side to side as you see here and it's gonna cover up where we just tied. So you should be left with this. Then we're gonna take another piece of twine, run it under the burlap. This one's gonna be a bit harder to gather but you're gonna tie it as tight as you can and gather it as much as you can. To embellish this cross just a bit more, I thought it would be fun to add one of these rustic, aged looking keys. These are by Tim Holtz. You can find these at Joann's and Michael's. They're fairly inexpensive. This was a set of keys that I had in my stash because I just loved them and I thought that this was the perfect DIY to add these to it. And I thought that using these flowers that I got from Michael's Dollar Bins would add just the touch of color that I needed for this. You can really get so creative with this and make this DIY your own by switching up the burlap into a different color, by painting your wood, changing up the embellishments. You all know I am a burlap and twine girl and I love that rustic feel that it gives off and so that's why I made this a rustic cross. I tell you, I stay true to my nature. I love burlap, I love twine, and this video had to have been one of my very first videos, like the first couple months that I was doing YouTube. And like I said before, this is still a gift that I DIY and make and gift out all the time because people absolutely love it. And it's so budget friendly. And nine times out of 10, I have everything that I need to make the DIY other than the wood. And so just sending Jeff off to get me a piece of those fence planks for like a dollar is okay. Now I can make three of these. I hope you all enjoyed today's throwback Thursday of my oldie but goodie DIYs. Please give this video a thumbs Thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes because you guessed it, 
each and every one of those thumbs up and the comments that you leave down below really help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day and of course, happy crafting on a budget and bye for now, everybody. Thank you.